Hey guys, welcome to Season with Love. I'm Casey. Welcome to my kitchen, y'all. How y'all doing today? It's a beautiful day. It's it's a little bit chilly, but it's still sunny and it's a beautiful day. Okay, y'all. So today I'm making something warm and comforting. Making a comforting meal today. Y'all get this recipe a try. It's gonna warm you up real nice. Y'all know I've been sticking with warm comfort meals recently for uh my videos and then for my content okay so you know what i'm saying god bless all of y'all thank y'all for tuning in today with season with love with me okay without further ado let's go over these ingredients y'all well first let me tell y'all what we're gonna make because y'all know y'all seen the, the uh the title we making chicken and broccoli noodle bake <laughs> okay whatever that is <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm going to call it. I can say, because uh, I've been calling it what you're going to call it. Okay, because I don't know the, what name I'm going to give this, but I'm going to call it chicken and broccoli noodle bake. Okay, so let's go over these ingredients, y'all. We got some broccoli here. I'm going with fresh broccoli because it's better for what I'm trying to do. I don't want, if you're going with frozen broccoli, you risk your dish being a little bit watery. Okay. So we don't want that because we already got to boil our noodles and drain those and got to get everything, okay, all our parts together. So I'm going in with fresh broccoli, y'all. Here I have two whole chicken breasts. I have one with a bone and one skinless, uh, boneless chicken breast here. Very large chicken breast. I don't, I'm going to use all this chicken because I want my dish to be um, high in protein, okay? So I'm going to use both of these chicken breasts. You can use one, one. This, this large, skinless, boneless chicken breast might be enough. That's my oven preheating, y'all. But y'all gonna see when we cut it up, one might be enough. I got a bag of mozzarella cheese here. Okay. I got some capitelli nudies. Nudies. Y'all, what is nudies? <laughs> noodles. Here, okay. Use the noodles that you like to use. You can use penne. You could use uh, tortellini. I mean, not tortellini. Uh, what is it, tortellini? Yeah, tortellini. Um, you can use shells. You can use macaroni. You can use whatever noodles you choose to use. I'm using these spiral uh, type of noodles. I don't want to mispronounce it. Just some spiral noodles or whatever. <laughs> I got some minced garlic here. I got some grated Parmesan and some shaved Parmesan. You're gonna need that butter. You definitely want this to be buttery. I got some half and half. You can use heavy whipping cream or milk, whatever you prefer. Okay. And that's it. I hope I've got all the ingredients here. The rest is just gonna be seasoning. Y'all know I'm gonna use my delicious chicken and chopped seasoning for to season this chicken. And that's about it, y'all. Y'all stay tuned on season with love. And some fresh cracked black pepper for the for the final. Okay. And you're going to need a little salt to boil that pasta with. Make sure you boil that pasta. Oh, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to boil that pasta in some chicken broth. So let me get some chicken bouillon. I'm going to use chicken bouillon to boil my pasta in, you guys. Okay. So I can enhance that chicken flavor. Because I'm using breast meat and the breasts tend to not have as much chicken flavor as some of the other parts of the meat of the uh, chicken, like the thigh or the leg are more flavorful than the breast. I'm gonna use chicken broth in this dish to boil my macaroni and to uh, probably add a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon in with my half and half and cheese mixture. Okay, so y'all stay tuned on Season With Love. We making this chicken and broccoli noodle bake, y'all, right here on Season With Love. Okay, you guys, we are back so I, I can show you guys how I'm cutting up this broccoli here. Now, I'm going through the floral florets, the broccoli florets, with my knife like this, slicing downward so I can get a nice thin uh, floret of the broccoli, okay? I'm going in, cutting all the small ones up, the larger ones down smaller because we want them to cook in a in a fast process the thicker stems as you can see over here in the corner i am removing because they will not cook 
as fast as our chicken and noodle bake will bake in the oven and cook. Well, we're going to pan. We're going to saute. 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 My, I'm all over the place today, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, we're going to saute our um, broccoli with our chicken. Okay. To, to take some of that raw bite off of it. Okay. We're going to saute it with the chicken and the onions and garlic onions was not in my original info i have a half an onion here that i'm gonna uh small dice up smallly and saute it after we pan sear our chicken breast and get that diced up i might dice it up before i cook it i'm, I'm not sure how i'm gonna do it but y'all know we we just we just go with the flow in the kitchen okay we're just gonna get it cut up and cooked it don't matter what order you do it in. Cook it and dice it up. Okay, and that's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to take this uh, broccoli. I just wanted to show y'all how we was cutting it up. Fairly small. You nice small pieces that's going to cook uh, while our chicken cook. If you see some large pieces, it's nothing to it. Just go in there and run your knife through it. It ain't going to hurt nobody. Break it down a little bit smaller. Just so that it can cook. Everything can cook uh, together. Okay. And now I'm going to dice this onion up. Okay. I'm going to get this diced up and get it ready for the pan. Y'all, but I'm going to meet y'all at the stove next time we come back. Y'all, we pan searing up our chicken. Okay. I'm going to season it up with some chicken and chopped seasoning. Let me get this onion cut. Okay. Be careful when you're cutting your onion. Do not cut it in your hand like I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to dice this onion up. Get it ready for the pan. Okay. That's that. I'm going to clean up. And y'all, I'm going to meet y'all at the stove. Okay. All right, y'all. We at the stove. I got my pan heating up. It's very hot. I'm going to go in with a neutral oil. You can use olive oil, canola oil, heart healthy oil. I'm going in with a neutral oil to a very hot pan. I'm going to sear off my chicken breast. You guys know I had one bone in and one bone out. Now I have deboned and sliced the chicken breast so it can cook faster for me. Now I'm going to lay them in this hot pan. And sear off my sliced chicken breast. Okay. I'm gonna get this fried up. All right, you guys. Our chicken is here frying. Okay, we have put two tablespoons of oil in our pan. And we laid our chicken out so we can brown our chicken and cook our chicken thoroughly. Okay. So now you want to cook your chicken through. I'm going to cook it for about a few minutes on each side. The chicken breast, you don't want to overcook the chicken. The chicken is going to cook uh, in finish cooking in the oven okay so don't overcook the chicken here you don't want dry chicken you want that chicken to be moist and juicy okay so you want to cook it through but just done if that makes any sense just done okay make sure it's 165 degrees internal temperature cook through okay so now we're going to continue to cook this chicken until it's done and then I'm going to remove it from the pan and start sauteing off my onions and garlic okay and my broccoli y'all stay tuned on season with love we making chicken and broccoli noodle bake <laughs> okay our chicken is done looks incredible okay See, nice, beautiful, golden brown chicken. It's just done. It's golden brown. I'm going to remove it from the pan. 
and start in on my vegetables, y'all. Alright, you guys, now I'm going in with my onions. Okay. If you wanted to customize this and make it your own and add your own vegetables, like, you know, mixed vegetables, carrots, or anything of that nature, now would be the time to add it. You know, celery or anything you would like to add to this dish, now would be the time to add it. Now we're going to get these sauteed down a little bit. Now that my onions is sauteed down, I'm going to go in with a tablespoon full of minced garlic. Okay. Get that garlic in there, let that lemon perfume to the pan. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Okay, now we're going to go in with our rinsed broccoli. Okay, get that broccoli in there. Saute that broccoli up a little bit. Okay, get your broccoli sauteed up. Oh, look at that big guy. He didn't escape the knife, huh? Oh, that beeping that you guys hear is my IV. Um, I'm on an infusion pump. That infusion medication directly into my heart. Okay, to keep me alive. So, my husband right now is changing my IV. So, you might hear a series of beeps. Okay, he's uploading my new medication for the day. So, we're going to get our broccoli sauteed up and add, you know, take a little bit of that bite off of the broccoli by stir frying our broccoli right here, okay? I'm just going to take a little bit of bite off of it. Making a big mess. Huh? So this is our broccoli and our garlic. Looks delicious. Now we're gonna go in with some half and half. Okay, about a half a quart, about a pint, a pint of half and half. I'm going in with a half a stick of regular salted butter. Okay, one half a stick of butter going in. Smells delicious. Okay, now we're gonna bring this up. Now remember, we're going in with some chicken broth as well, you guys, okay? Don't forget that chicken broth. Now, I don't have no chicken broth, so I'm going in with one bouillon cube and a cup and a half of water. Give me a cup and a half of water. So I'm going in with my bouillon cube. I'm going to add my cup and a half of water, and then we're going to bring this up to a boil and let it simmer. Give me a bit. Okay, so I'm going to add a cup and a half of water in here. That's for my cup and a half of chicken stock. Okay. So now I'm going to bring this up to a boil. And uh, let all these flavors come together. Okay. 
All right, you guys. Our broccoli and uh, half and half and chicken broth have simmered down. My broccoli is tender to my liking. And now I'm going to go in with my cheese. I'm going in with some uh, fresh grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, I have a five ounce container here. I'm going to go in with the whole five ounces of grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, get that in there. Okay, I have my sauce on the medium. I'm going to massage, I mean massage, I'm going to melt that Parmesan cheese in there. Okay, I'm also going to go in right now with a handful of mozzarella cheese, about a half a cup. Okay, I'm going to put that in there, melt that down. Okay. Sauce is coming together incredibly. I'm going to let this come together. Okay. It's looking good. My goodness, you guys. Get in on that. It's looking so good. Looking really good. So good. Okay. Just gonna let that cheese and everything come together, that sauce come together. Mm -hmm. You guys, we're gonna go in with some of our cooked pasta. Get that in there. Okay. Get that cooked pasta in there. We're gonna bring this all together. Okay, we got our pasta in there. Now, oh, I'm flinging stuff out the pan with this. Now we're gonna go in with our cooked diced chicken breast. Oh my goodness, you guys. Check it out. Now we're gonna mix this noodle bake all up. Okay, this is our chicken and broccoli noodle bake right here on Season with Love, y'all. We're gonna mix this all up and get it ready to go in the oven. Okay, we got this all together. Okay. So now you can transfer this into your baking dish and get it in the oven. Or you can leave it in your pan right here. I'm gonna transfer this to my baking dish. Okay, so now that we have mixed thoroughly with all of our pasta, our broccoli and our chicken, I'm gonna transfer this to my baking dish and get it in the oven, you guys. Stay tuned on Season with Love. We're making chicken and broccoli noodle bake. All right, you guys. Now we have our chicken and broccoli noodle bake in the pan. Move this stuff out of the way. This part is optional. And you can go in with some breadcrumbs, if you like, or some uh, Ritz crackers. Uh, crushed up crackers top or whatever if you like on the top okay I'm going in I have shaved Parmesan cheese and I have mozzarella cheese so I'm gonna go in with some mozzarella on the top okay I'm going with some mozzarella The 
a matter of fact, come on. I'm gonna mix this layer of mozzarella in and then I'm gonna top it off with another layer. Okay, because I want that cheese pull to be throughout. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that layer in and then do another layer for the top, okay? Y'all with me? Stay with me now. Stay with me. Making this, doing this as we go, okay? Stay with me. Okay? So now I mix that mozzarella layer in. You can do it in the pan. Okay? I decided it wasn't cheesy enough for me, so I'm going in with a layer of mozzarella on the top. Not too much. Okay, we want to taste that broccoli, chicken, and noodles. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with that shaved Parmesan. Just let you know, Parmesan cheese is in there. It gives it a nice bite. Okay. Right on the top. Ooh-wee. Delicious. Some crack. Some cracked black pepper, y'all. Do we go after we went in with our shaved parmesan? We're gonna go in with some cracked black pepper. So I shaved. This is how the shaved parmesan look. Incredible. Now I don't have much pepper in here, but we're gonna get out what we could. <laughs> and we'll top it here. Okay. Like a lot of black pepper. And my cheesy and my noodle bakes. Okay. So now we're gonna cover this and get it in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay. We're gonna get this in the oven. All right, you guys, our chicken, I was just setting up a, um, a pot holder here so I can bring this pan over here and show you guys this delicious chicken and broccoli noodle bake. Oh my goodness, use the noodles of your choice. Okay, came out incredible. You see the fresh cracked black pepper on the top. The golden brown and delicious specks from our melted cheese. Okay, we have uh, grated Parmesan, shaved Parmesan, and mozzarella cheese in this uh, chicken and broccoli noodle bake. OMG, this looks incredible. I can't wait to dig into it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do that right here with you guys. I'm going to dig in it right on camera. All right, you guys, I'm going to serve this up right on camera for you. Okay, that's ready here. Yeah hot and ready out of the oven it looks incredible y'all know what we what we what went into this it's a one pot dish it's delicious okay so we're gonna go in and scoop us some out of here let me put on my heat glove so i can hold this thing steady oh goodness you guys oh man it's cheesy it's creamy incredible let me get some of this out of here okay get enough out of there so y'all can really see what's going on here oh goodness you guys seeing this this chicken and broccoli noodle bake is incredible are you guys seeing this that broccoli is tender and delicious but it's not overcooked, it's not mushy. Chicken is moist. Oh, everything is so creamy and cheesy. Y'all look down in there, it's loaded with chicken. Oh man, y'all see it. Look at that, get into that cheese pull. My goodness, incredible. Y'all give this recipe a try, okay? Please enjoy it, give it a try tweak it make it your own you know if you guys like what i'm doing in these videos give me a thumbs up okay like share and subscribe to season with love 
I really appreciate all of you. Thanks to all of you for um, helping me get to 1,000 subscribers again. I can't thank you enough. I can't show my gratitude uh, enough than to keep, you know, thanking you guys in each of these videos. You know, thank you so much. I really appreciate you watching Season with Love and, and staying on this journey with me. And you guys, God bless you. And thanks for watching.